Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Artis. Uh, I'm really sorry I won't prepare you today anything, but um, I guess you know that uh, I'll present to you the story about Trick at the Trick Cheese Academy. And um, um, last year, uh, Latvia Spiens, uh, which is a company who is producing cheese, I would say a bloody good cheese, uh, came to us uh, with a brief that actually surprised us. They claim that in Latvia there is totally um, cheese illiteracy, meaning that people know only two types of cheese and they are buying only two types of cheese. Is the Dutch cheese, which is actually Adam cheese, and the Russian cheese, which is actually Tilsiter. And in the same time, in the world there are more than 2,000 different cheese types. And uh, I will show you, this is the most common way how Latvians are eating the cheese. <laughs> and it was particularly painful for a tricata. Because tricata, as I said, they are making a bloody good cheese. But the consumers, they are choosing the cheapest ones, uh, they are choosing the low quality cheese, and they can't differentiate between those two. So what we had to do, we had to increase the level of knowledge about the cheese, and that's what we do, did. <coughs> that's uh, where the idea about uh, Trikada Cheese Academy was born. And the idea was not, that we are not making just a short campaign. We wanted to make a platform, long-lasting platform, where people would return time after time and learn new and new things. And that we did. Here you can see how the academy looked. It's not like a typical one. Uh, you can see that there were many different classes, starting from the uh, cheese glossary, where people learned the very basics about the cheese, how it's made, what are the different types of cheese, etc. Till the myths about the cheese, because uh, you, you can't imagine there were really weird myths about the cheese, that you have to put eggs inside and the number of those holes uh, say says everything about the quality of the cheese. That's totally uh, lies. Uh, but I guess the most important thing about the academy was the test or we can say the exam. And uh, everybody who passed the exam got the, the, got a diploma, or we can say certificate, or we can say that they graduated from the academy. <laughs> and uh, one thing, of course, was to gather all the information. But as we know, people don't like to actually be educated or study. That's why we really uh, involved in making this platform, meaning that we try to find uh, the best ways the most tasty way uh, to do this uh, learn, to, to do this learning teaching process. I guess we really did it. Uh, the platform really helped us to make a good VR campaign. We started with the raising awareness of uh, the problem that we have a cheesy literacy in Latvia. Then uh, some of the best uh, experts in the industry joined us and they give the credibility and reliability to the platform. And of course, we had a launch event where celebrities came, and they were the first students of the academy. And in social media, people wanted to show that they have graduated from the Cheese Academy. Of course, it also spread the word. And also, we had two panels, but just two. <laughs> and uh, as I said, our campaign went really well. We had more than 100 uh, different publications, worth of uh, 10,000 euros. So it's, it's the free media we got. And uh, as, you, as you can see, we gathered also a good number of students. Uh, it's just in the campaign period, we got 20,000 students, which is almost as twice as uh, many students uh, there are in Latvian University, which is the largest <laughs> university in Latvia. By now, there have been 54,000 students in the academy. And uh, these are just communication results. Uh, the best part is actually the business result, uh, which uh, Trikata and Latvia Spins is really happy about. So we managed to double the sales, and uh, uh, Latvia Spins became the market leader by the end of the 2013. And uh, it's uh, important to note out that in this period, there were no sales promo actions or any discounts for the cheese. Thank you for attention. I guess my time is over. Let's see your questions. Yeah. At that moment, uh, uh, Latvia experience was just in the, in the very beginning, and the Trikata was the main brand for them. So uh, I don't know 
there's a specific numbers, but I guess it's very close to the Latvia spins and trick up. It's actually the same at that moment. At this moment, maybe there there is also a, a good shot for the Latvia spins product. And the brand. Uh, have you actively uh, exploited that uh, in terms of the uh, argument that uh, uh, the majority of cheese uh, consumed is, is Dutch or you said uh, Russian? Have we, have we used? Yeah. Is it here? Yeah, of course. The, in, in, in the, as, I, as I showed in the PR. Um, oh, because, you know, my point is yeah. that till, till it's not Russian, it's... Uh, of course, in this research, we showed all the numbers that 80% are consuming only the, those cheeses. Yeah. We showed also that uh, uh, the bread with the cheese is the best dish uh, Latins can make with the cheese. Yeah, no, it's, till it is not uh, Russian origin. Yeah. You, you were exploiting some, I believe, you know. <laughs> Uh, no, it, 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 it's, uh, it's actually made in uh, in Poland, in Polish territory. No, it is former, former <coughs> Russian. Okay, Russian. Like Poland. Okay, we won't argue about okay, it. Yeah, yeah. Still, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a black PR game. Right? Yeah. That's still good. <laughs> if you I have a little bit different question. Yeah. Do you do any kind of cooperation with Latvian education quality assurance? No. Yeah, we you should have to adjust. I think you are issuing diplomas. Yeah. It's a very serious business. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> Digital diplomas. It's just a yeah. bit softer. Thing. No. Was there any like in the timeline how did these activities arise? Which you started? Yeah, we started like uh, like I just showed. We started with with the uh, aware awareness. First of all, we made the research. Then there was uh, this. Uh, um, Publications about how about the problem that there's a cheese literacy, and then on we launched the the, the the academy. Any plans to expand to other Baltic countries? <laughs> no, not at the moment. But but who knows? Uh, it depends on the export market. If, if it's a priority, perhaps because the the site is ready and then the people are still coming here. What was your uh, main target? Mm -hmm. How old is that? It is uh, 20 to 40 women, in, in ur urban women. We, we actually also made uh, another research where we, we, we found out it. And uh, we are also working on uh, other uh, foreign markets in the same target audience. And I, I actually, Tricat is working uh, now on um, different markets in Scandinavia and, 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 and you, I suppose, even in Ukraine. And, uh, and that's the target audience they have. That's actually most of the cheeses has, has this target audience. You know, wine, cheese, evening, many girls. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, I don't know these, these numbers. But you can ask uh, Ramona. She's uh, in a... In a uh, Estimated, like more or less like hundreds or thousands or thousands. tens of thousands. Anze, you want to help me? Not in hundreds. Not in hundreds. No. Uh, you represent uh, digital agents? No, uh, I'm, I'm the, the creative agent in DDB. Uh, did you saw in this uh, cheese academy, this target audience more represented than the Actually, we, did not, we, we don't know uh, the age group or, or, or the gender. We didn't see it. You, you didn't have to uh, write it when you studied there. So, did you look in you didn't have to log in. Thank you. Thanks.